Good afternoon, everyone. It's Kristen Hancock, the Simcoe County Stamper, and I'm here with another Share a Tip Tuesday. So this is going to be week two of decorative masks. So I have my adorning masks, adorning designs masks, which can be found in the mini catalog on page 75. So you get a set of four different designs for $11. And today we are going to be looking at just this one here. So today we're gonna to be using it with some embossing paste and the embossing paste can be found in the annual catalog on page 128. You'll see the paste here and there are different masks designs that you can choose from and then you've got the palette knives there, so a three pack for $6.75. The embossing paste comes in a matte finish or a shimmery white finish. And there are all different ways that you can use that. So the next couple weeks, we're gonna be looking at ways to use the paste with the masks. So I held a ugly Christmas sweater bingo event on the weekend and all of the participants received a set of the masks, um, the matte embossing paste and the palette knives. Here's one of the cards that we made. And you'll notice that the background has been made with the mask and the paste. So it's got a fun texture. And I'm gonna show you how I did that. So I'm keeping it very simple, just using it the way it's intended for this card. So not doing anything special or fancy. A couple tips for the paste that I have found. Because the paste will dry out rather quickly, I keep mine in the bag that it comes in. It's just another layer of um, sealed protection to help keep it moist in there and not let the air dry it out. I also, I never fully remove my um, seal. I open one end of it like this so that I can poke my knife in there and get some out. But I wanna keep it sealed as tightly as possible when I'm not using it to keep it from drying out because like I said, it will dry out fast. This isn't a product that you can put in your cupboard and come back to, you know, a year or a year and a half to two years later. It'll be hard as a rock. So I'm not saying that you have to use it all up within the first month, but don't forget about it um, and set it aside for a year or two and come back because it will be rock hard. I have heard some demonstrators say that they will come back and they will add a little bit of water to bring it back to life. I have not tried that, so I'm not gonna give that advice. Um, if you have one that is just starting to go hard and you wanna give it a whirl, you can let me know in the comments if you found it useful. Um, but I have not tried it myself, so. So as soon as you are finished using it, I recommend putting the cap back on, putting it back in your bag right away. The other tip for using the embossing paste, because it dries in there, in the container really quick, it will also dry on your project, on the decorative mask, and on your palette knife really quick. So what I like to do, if I'm not near a sink and I can't get there right away, I will keep a bowl of warm sudsy, and all I've got in there is dish soap water right on hand so that as soon as I am finished using this, I can pop it in, I can pop my palette knife in because if it dries on there, oh, it's a pain in the butt to try to get it back off. Sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in of red so I always use my grid paper and it's got like a, a darker line through the center in both directions 
and I just butt my cardstock up to that. It gives me a visual so that I know my paper is straight. From there, you're just gonna put your mask, and again, you are just gonna line it up wherever you want, um, looking at the pattern on the sides and the edges. Because this is a uniform pattern, it doesn't matter so much, but if you were working with, say, the stars, you would be trying to line up which stars you wanted to see. Now I've chose a really fine pattern to use because it's very easy to use these small patterns. When you're using a pattern that has more of an open space and you're trying to get a smooth, um, consistent look, you're gonna wanna make sure that when you're putting the embossing paste on, you are going in one direction. So if you start this way and, and start going all different directions, you're not gonna have that uniform look. So start in one area, put your embossing paste on and keep going in the same direction. That will work well for this one as well. You wanna go in the same direction. Okay, so I've got my paper lined up. I've got my mask where I want it to be. Whether or not you put this, your mask um, down with some washi tape is up to you. It will help to hold it in place if you're worried about that. I'm not going to, to bother today. I'm just gonna hold it with one hand. Just going to open that up, grab some paste, and the great thing about this is whatever you don't use, you can scoop off and put back in. So we're going to start on one corner. Again, I'm just going in the one direction. Making sure I get right up to those edges of my cardstock. Once you're happy with it, you're just gonna put the excess back into the container. If you had a lot on here, you could scrape it off and put it back in as well. And then try not to leave some sitting up at the top like that because it's gonna dry out quicker. Try to make sure that you've put it all right back together, if that makes sense. Okay, and then we'll seal this up right away. I'm gonna throw my palette knife into my sudsy water. Get this back in the pack. You can peel this up gently. There we go, and put that in my sudsy water. Just gonna seal my bag. So that will just take a minute to dry on there. So this is the part where you would set that aside and then start assembling the rest of your card. So again, here's the card that I was making. I'm not going to go through all the steps of the card. I, um, I use the Be Jolly stamp set and I use Stampin' Blends on there. So easy peasy card to make. If you have any questions about the embossing paste or the decorative masks, you can go ahead and put them in the comments and um, I'm happy to answer them. Next week, I'm gonna show you a way, things that you can add to your paste for additional ways to use it. So really making the most of of it and making some fun backgrounds. So thanks so much for watching. I will put all of the product information into the description so that you have the codes and everything if you want to give it a whirl. It's a lot of fun to play with so don't be afraid to to give it a try. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.